Zechariah chapter 1 from verse 17. I continue on the series, but today I will have a subtopic that may be a little bit different. But unlocking our next levels, there is something that is key for us to pay attention to. Zechariah chapter 1 verse 17. Somebody, your dream of living this country this year will still come to pass. Again, proclaim, saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, My cities shall again spread out through prosperity. The Lord will again convert Zion and will again choose Jerusalem. I let you see here, it's not talking about Abelkuta or London. It's talking about you. Because you are a city set on the hill that cannot be hidden. And God has promised that I want to spread you through prosperity. Not through lack, not through not enough. If there's anything the devil is fighting in your life, is to keep you on a spot and nothing makes a man implode like lack. Even though I know the devil does not just attack through lack because he can also use surplus to attack you. Because the fight that broke out between Lot and Abraham was not, a, was not an attack of lack. It was an attack of surplus. So, if the devil knows that he cannot get your attention through lack, he will use surplus. There are many people who have abandoned faith because they have more money. But in this place, God said, I want to spread you through prosperity. From Luke at verse 18, I would say, then I raised my eyes and I looked and there were four horns. God has just spoken and the next thing we begin to see is attack. That's reason. Just because of the word that has gone ahead. Could it be that the reason you are going through what you are going through was because prophecy had gone ahead of you? He said, I saw horns. What are these horns to do? What's the meaning of the horns? And I said to the angel who talked with me, what are these? So that I don't have to assume what those horns are like. Spiritual things are, are mysterious and nobody should just assume. You just had a dream. You saw a bird in your dream. You say, ah, it's a witch. There's a bird that came upon Jesus and that's the Holy Ghost. <laughs> or oh, that's the Holy Ghost, that. So, you, you just don't conclude on spiritual things. Oh, someone said, I had a dream and I was packing snails. Snail is good for your health, it's nutritious. So, instead of you to say, it's delay. It may just be God want to furnish you with next level full of good food. Amen, somebody. So, stop. Somebody say, God, I had a dream, I hate in the dream, and anytime I hate in the dream, nothing happened anytime I hate in the dream. It's your mind that is playing game at you. Maybe God wants to feed you with the food of nations. Stop concluding on this. This man should have said, I'm a prophet, I know the meaning of horns. He said, What are these? Ask questions. And I said to the angel who talked with me, What are these? So he answered me. And if you notice, if you read the entire book of Zechariah, as prophetic, as sharp as this man is, there's nothing he sees that he will not ask questions and say, Lord, what is the meaning of this? And he said, oh, <laughs> these are horns that have scattered Judah. Eh? You know, it's possible after you have seen prosperity word and you see on and now say, ah, I'm going to be a horn unto nations. <laughs> but this guy said, hey, attack has risen against the same word you have just had now. They have scattered Judah so that nobody will be able to lift up their head and guess what? They are still alive. And they want to still walk again. He said, then the Lord showed me four craftsmen. And I said also, ah. so what are these coming to do? I saw them with tools. He said, well, these are the ones that scattered Judah so that no one could, be, could lift up their head. But the craftsmen had come. Or they are coming. Oh, I'm actually seeing something for the first time here. It's not even as if they have landed. They are still on their way. Now, do you know sometimes if they delay too much, there will be a problem. Because some life will have been scattered before they come. You know, it's better not, it's better to stop them from attacking than start repairing what has been damaged. So I pray for somebody today. I put a stop to every attack of the devil in your life. Oh, that amen is not correct. I said I put a stop to every attack of the devil in your life. Now, everywhere they have gathered against you, let them scatter in the name of Jesus. He said they are coming to terrify them. To cast the horns of the nations out. They will not be able to leave their horns against Judah to scatter it. What does it mean to scatter? To, God has arranged something but they scatter it so that it's now without form. That's not the form that God has created. What I'm seeing now is not what God has put in place. 
Is there anything in your life that is not according to the right order? Maybe where you are is not where God wants you to be. You should have moved further than that. You should have moved faster than that. You should have enjoyed more that you have enjoyed. So, should in case anything is against God's order, let there be a spiritual rearrangement. And I told you, craft the, he said four craftsmen. It seems to me, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. Who is the fourth one? So, my mouth is the fourth one. So I will, part, I will partner with my mouth to help the Holy Ghost to achieve what he wants to achieve. So say in the name of Jesus, whatever has limited me, has lost their hold on me. Say this marital destiny will work. Oh, Say this relationship, this particular one. This will work. I don't know, you have experience of failing relationships, but this not this one. Somebody say, I've come to the house. Somebody say, I'm, I've got you to the house. That man has come to the house. You notice that there are different uh, expressions. Some people say woman. Somebody tap your name and say you're a carpenter. <laughs> Partner with God <laughs> to terrify your adversaries. <laughs> if you believe it, say, I am a carpenter. <laughs> Please be seated. Then I begin to show us how God has promised prosperity, but there are horns that will not allow that word to come to pass. And it's amazing nobody wakes up in the morning and see a big horn in front of him. So, these horns doesn't look horn, quote and unquote, doesn't look horn in the physical. Take your life more seriously. There are horns. Natural things will look natural. But if you can have the eye of the spirit, you will know behind the natural laws, there are spiritual laws. So, these guys were poor. They will be thinking, oh, it's because we are not so educated. It's because we miss our chances. They won't know. The reason they were struggling is because there are horns. They took them into captivity. The Bible didn't tell us it was a horn. Only for us to come to Zechariah 1 now. It's now saying the reason they were struggling was because there were spiritual forces that will not allow anybody to lift up their head. You will analyze and say the reason my dad didn't build a house is because he was a mechanic. The reason this, the reason that. But behind your struggle, there is a spiritual thing on that ground. That has a very low tone that you are looking like. You will rationalize things and say, oh, that child died because of typhoid. Yeah, it was because uh, he, the tide fell and that's why he broke the air leg. So it's not working on crutches. You won't know there are horns that made that responsible. Now, I've come to combat on again this morning. Whatever horn has been the reason for your struggle, let that on be terrified in the name of Jesus. I stand as a prophet of God and I decree again into your spirit. I say whatever one has been responsible for an incident or an occurrence in your life that brought you to where you are instead of where you ought to be, let that one be terrified in the name of Jesus. If you believe in somebody, roar amen like thunder. Please be seated. And we notice, number one, that the first one, if you notice after this, if you go to chapter two, the next thing is I raised my eyes. The first one we saw in manifestation was a limiting mindset. That guy took a listen. So that everybody in Judah will not think big. Uh, yes, just be smart. It's a, it's a work of an on. Then after this, you go to chapter 3. Then God began to talk to this man. And a high priest who is supposed to prophesy the next level. That was he was covered with iniquity. Standing before the angel of the Lord. Standing at his right hand to oppose him. <laughs> who is the devil that is trying to oppose your next level? If you notice, if you go back to the book of Ezra, because you don't have time, you will realize that that building started again because this man began to, this man stood up and began to prophesy. So for like 20 years, this man could not talk. Enemy put something on him that could not make him talk. And God said, see, for that building to continue. Now, let me give somebody a little background. The book of Zechariah was written to address a generation of people that God has given an assignment to and the assignment was talked for 20 years. And God is showing him the reason that assignment was stuck for 20 years. And he said, oh, they're supposed to have been living in prosperity. But the problem is, there are horns. Then, what is the horn? They concluded and said, it is not time to build God's house yet. This and this limiting mindset. The next horn, the man of God was attacked. They are high priest. Who was supposed to stand at the gate and say, this is not where we ought to be. Your pastor is now pampering you and say, mm, you know, it is the Lord's doing. If who is the Lord's doing? No, God give it, God take it. Oh, glory be to God. What kind of demonic? A child died, you say, God take it. Who took, is it your God that took the child? I would say, the angel said, take away the filthy garment from him. And to him he said, see, I have removed what has stolen your voice. 
your iniquity from you and have clothed you with rich robes. You see, this thing is prosperity. Today. And I said to him, let them put a clean or ban on his head. So that they put a clean or ban on his head and they put clean clothes on him. And the angel of the Lord stood by. No doubt. I am watching this word come to pass. I stand as a prophet of God. Every garment of iniquity, garment of 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 listen to this premature death. Garment of sorrow that the enemy put on you to keep your mouth shut. Let those garments be taken away this morning in the name of Jesus. Somebody say, I'm wearing now a rich robe, not poverty robe. Say it louder. Say, I have a new clothes on me. Family, have you ever seen what represent people when you see them? Your clothes. Your clothes is your appearance. So how do you even appear to people? There are many ladies, they are not marrying because there's a way you appear to people. You look at yourself. This is not who I think I am. They define you in a way that you are not. Who has worn you a garment that is not your garment? Can I roll, Satan? Maybe some of you, there's somebody under the sound of my voice. Somebody took your clothes and that is what they use to do something against you. And where you are right now, you have a false appearance. It is not you the projects. Can a nasto male gadaza? Can a gas to pragadaya? Every garment that is not your garment that the enemy has given you in the spirit, let that garment catch fire now in the name of Jesus. Let that garment catch fire in the name of Jesus. There are people with uncurable body odor. No matter their spray, they just smell a certain way. It's a garment. There are people so nice, but in the day of their breakthrough, they will misbehave somewhere. It's a garment. It's not your appearance. Who has warned you the appearance that is not your own? You are looking wretched and poor. There's a man, anytime I see the man, I pity him. It seems to me he makes money, but if you look at the way, he looks tattered and dirty. Kenaya. Some people, go, enemy gave them garment to walk, but not to have harvest. What is the enemy? The, what is the garment the devil has given to you? Or some people, they are fine for nothing. There is no substance in their inside. But let every evil garment catch fire this morning. Ah, somebody did not receive it. I said, let every evil garment catch fire this morning. If you believe in royal men like thunder. So they steal their shoe. They use it to go and do jazz. They steal their clothes. But they will just cut a little part. Go and use it to do something. And from that day, problem has been introduced to somebody's life. He's struggling. He's saying, I don't know why I don't, use, I don't have a job. I've graduated. I have first class. But I don't know what's going on. It's a garment. Every garment of shame. I prayed a prayer today. I don't know whether I can ask you to pray. I said, Father, I have lived in no, no. May I not know shame? <laughs> I have experienced your honor. May I not know shame? Oh, I pray for somebody. Every garment of shame that the enemy wants to put on you, let that garment catch fire in the name of Jesus. You know the day they decorated you and say, "Wow, somebody in his mind." Mm, 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 mm. It won't last. It won't last. It will last. Ah, hey, somebody saw you pregnant. He said, "We should deliver the baby." You will deliver the baby. You will be pregnant again and deliver another one. As a matter of fact, it will take family planning to stop the process. Even though you're going to give birth like, like pig. Oh, pastor, where am I in lack? What you lack most today, begin to enjoy the most. For your shame, receive double in the name of Jesus. If you receive it this morning, let your amen show you somebody. Please be seated, fam. The morning garment is a walk of a horn. I don't want to stay on this one much. Next verse, next chapter again. You see, God began to say, Oh, then he showed me as he walked and he woke him as if like a man is woken from the sleep. So he said, Zechariah, you are sleeping. You can't sleep. Get up. See. He said, What is this? He said, I saw a bow, a lampstand, it's with solid gold, with seven pipes. At the end, he said, These are the seven spirits of God. Tells Zerubbabel, it's not by power, not by might. It's another arm also to start thinking. I can do things by myself. I have, I, 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 I have first class now, so I can. <laughs> when your strength failed you, that is when you will know there is another life. Yes, can, can I tell you something? Can you see beyond your nose? Can you even see your mouth? Without a mirror? Do you know tomorrow? There are fine people today that may not last for more than seven hours more. Somebody parked her beside you <laughs> and uh, bought you food, promised you marriage, nice guy, gave you a check. And or I'll say, come tomorrow. I will give you a check. The man may not even see tomorrow. For somebody to think he's Alpha and Omega. You are too small to be Alpha and Omega. A man had so much. 
And as he had so much, he began to brag. He said, Ah, oh, my soul, it's time to relax. God said, Hey, Gabriel. He said, Yes, sir. He said, Let's collect what is ours from him. Let him enjoy the rest. He said, Oh, sir. I said, Collect our own from him. He said, The rich man. He said, Yes. So Gabriel just did. <laughs> Pastor, what's that? You're taking air. Because the air you breathe is not your own. The owner can collect it back. So the, the guy had gone and said, Okay, oh, yeah. Go and build like you said you want to build. The same time he appear in heaven, God will say, useless man. She'll be what you thought you have, you gave to yourself. Some people will say, I'm a self-made man. Self-made. You created your brain. Because you read biology and you understand it. It's not because he gave you brain to understand it. Let that brain be just be tampered with. Let blood just mistakenly enter where white is. You will have demonstrated smartness in drinking water water. <laughs> Taking is the refrigerated water. That is madness in definition. You know, I work hard. <laughs> Go and see a bookie on that mango. In Tifa like they are there now. Do you work out? Do you work as hard as they work? No. You know, I've studied so much. I already know the in and out of that business. I will just one policy by the government will send you back to your village. Have you seen people who work hard and gather money at 70, 60 when they are supposed to be enjoying wealth, retirement? That is when they will just diagnose one sickness. The house they built. With you, say, see, I bought my first house at 25. Then go sell everything, treat sickness. Go down. And those of you doing gra gra now at 25, 30, you don't know life yet. Relax. Join them on internet, abusing pastors. Say, oh, no. oh, you will live your own life too now. Wake up. We are growing. You see fine car, it's a thief. If you see nice house, now you boy. If you see fine girl, now Aristo. Continue. You'll be analyzing people's success as if you were born on the face of the earth to be an analyzer. Face your life. Huh? Love God. Amen. Hey, the reason that brother has not married is because he wasted his youth. The reason that sister didn't have a child is because that brother has been divorced. That sister has been divorced. I know that sister. I know her. somebody used to follow her to church before. Now he's another man. Continue. <laughs> this is the assignment that the devil has given to you. Because... Every time your neighbor say, "Oh, God, face yeah, life." <laughs> so, uh, and you are not a James Bond thinking. And see, the Bible says, when you see your your friend fall or somebody fall, he said, "Don't rejoice, oh. <laughs> let it that think it, that let it that think it stand, take it, because under your feet is slippery. Where you they stand, just they laugh. Ka, 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 ka. See, you will soon fall there. You relax yourself. Me, I cannot fall for that kind of thing. Okay, we shall see." Not by might. Stop bragging as if you have all it takes. You must lean on me. Huh? I will say, trust the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In know your ways. Not some. Proverbs 3. In know your ways. Acknowledge him. What will he do? See, when you don't give God his space, he will leave you in your space. So if you can do it, do it. So when your brain comes to an end, that is the time you will now know that there is, after seven, there is eight. After you combat with self, can I mention to you some people, you know there's a propagation of self-love. Love yourself. Yeah. There is nothing to love in you. You gossip. You lie. Excuse me, sir. If you will marry you, will you like you? Self-love. You know, love yourself. Oh. Don't let anybody. Instead of you to wake up in the morning and say, Father, take away every flesh in me. Say self-love. Not by power, not by mind, but by my spirit. Says the Lord. It's not your uncle that wrote you the letter. It's God. Somebody tell your neighbor, say, it's not Pastor Richard that wrote that chapter. <laughs> it's God that sent it to you. It's just reading it to you. So, we saw another horn of self-exhortation. Pride. Some people don't have shoulder pad. It's pride that is their shoulder. Do you know some people are Mount Zion? Worship, mm -hmm. pray, mm -hmm. hear the word of God. Oh, Pastor Richard, I know. He knows how to speak and make people laugh a bit. No? Not by power. Be humble. I would say he resists the proud. He gave grace. So you don't even, as, a, as an humble person, you don't ask for grace. He releases it by humility. And humility is not when you wear tetracycline clothes. No tetracycline. What's the color? Yellow, red. And yellow. He says humility. No. Humility is not lack of ring. Lack of earring. Humility is not you are dressing down. You can dress down and not be humble. As a matter of fact, the proudest people I've ever seen are the poor people. So you, you see a rich man pass beside you, will be the first to greet you. Good morning, man. How are you? See, let a poor person pass beside you. Is it because they are rich? Somebody sent you money yesterday. You replied the following day by sending thanks. What's it by me? 
Poor people are proud. That's just the truth. That's why I said the poor. You will always have among you. Somebody say, I know they. Zerubbabel, no by power, no by mind. See, this thing you are dealing with, it is only grace that can deal with it. Family, grace. Except grace. You must look at that situation and say, ah, except the Lord be for me. He said, except the Lord build the house. They labor in vain. They are builders, but they labor in vain. See, there are things you are doing. It works for you. But it doesn't work for everybody like that. Sometimes lock your door for one day and spend time to give that. The next attack. Chapter 5. Then I turned and I raised my eyes. And I saw there was a flying scroll. <laughs> and he said to me, what did you see? So I answered, a flying scroll. I saw a length on it. 20 cubits. The breadth, 10 cubits. That's about um, 30 feet by 10 feet. No, 30 feet by 15 feet. Then he said to me, this is the cause. Not reason. C-U-R-S-E. That goes out over the face of the whole head. Why it look like this? <laughs> Physically, you are not seeing anything. No. But there is a cause in the head. What? Every thief shall be expired. According to, to this side of the scroll. And every pajura. Who is a pajura? Those who give false witness. Gossip. What do you know? See, you have cut up people's house. But you, you know what happened for your eyes? You say, hey, mommy, talk away. Huh? I saw your husband. Are you the one sitting beside her? Beside him? I saw him at my shake. He doesn't say, no. Oh. That, that person wore this type of your wig. I thought you were the one. He said, you are not, I'm not the one. Okay, oh, okay, okay. Your husband too can stay late at night. At that time, who is night? Who is night? Who is, who is he carrying in the front of his car? He had to go to the house. My husband, he said, "Oh, man, to ask questions." Oh, sweetheart, how are you doing? Oh, you came late. Who did you pick in the car? Because she also has low self-esteem. Because some women have low self-esteem. Your husband that pay bride's price on your head now doesn't value you anymore. If he liked them, why didn't he marry them? Because of that, trouble started in that home. That woman is in the village now for the past three months because of what you have informed. That was not correct. Every picture, if you can give us in NLT, you will know that I'm not peddling scriptures. As of everyone who swears falsely, my focus today is this on called cause. Cause. What is even cause? How many of us know that cause is not going that way? No good better for you. It's not the cause. I want a baby. It's just, it's just a proof. That someone does not like you, so he wants to introduce a cause. You know, go better for you, it's not a cause. Just like Kai is not a blessed, it's not the blessing. It's just the blessing that produces those things. What is cause? Yoruba described cause to be. He says something. An invisible force, but is manipulating things in the realm of the spirit. Smart! But look at the results. It's not smart. Because there is a force. I read a scripture to us in one night of glory. I can't remember that night of glory. About divine advantage. How? We saw that, oh, Delilah arrested. Or Delilah was the one that gave something up. Only for me to show you the scripture that the Bible said they offer sacrifice to their gods. And so, now, Delilah's work could work because they said, the Bible said they gave Dagon a heavy sacrifice. There was a heavy sacrifice on ground before they lure a sister. As a matter of fact, it's a sacrifice that, provide the, that provided the bait. Before they destroyed Jews in Shushan, there was a sacrifice. The Bible said they casted Lord and they chose a date by definition. So cause is powerful. See, how I know cause is real is that we have family who, who we say, people who say, ah, in our family, there are no good marriages. That's a cause. In our family, nobody is a graduate. You hear things like in our, in our, in our lineage, people don't, people don't, in our family, people don't live long. Because it's real. In our family, people start a house, but they don't complete it. Because there's something behind the scene. I know cause is real, but more real is our victory in Christ. Others may fall for it, but not me. Somebody say, my case is different. You know somebody who is, uh, 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 who are you? I'm a child of God. 
What I know, they don't know. And if they know, maybe they don't practice it. Because it's different. You know, some people come to church, but they don't hear anything they are saying in church. You hear things like anybody who married from so, 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 and so family. Hmm. Even if they were wealthy before, they will become wretched in no time. You are here, they abandon you. The day you met those who abandon you, the best revenge in life is not to shout, it's success. Make sure you are not where they dump you. There are many of us who have sat somewhere like a maid or you live in an uncle's house. Do you know you are sending money to that uncle today? Imagine if they had treated you anyhow then. I know people used to have um, entitlement mentality. There are people you bring to your house. The moment you begin to show them right away, they begin to feel like, see, do your part and let them misbehave. They will close the door against themselves, but you will keep your own door open. Don't make people make you a wicked person that you are not. So there are different causes. It keeps some people small. It, some cause will enter people's life when they are supposed to be great. That is when the attack will come. It will bring them back to ground zero. Don't rationalize everything that is happening now. It's life. Behind life, there is spirit. And where there is cause, there is blessing. Galatians 3, 14. And for Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the law. Hmm? Hmm? Christ has what? Redeem. The word redeem is to buy back. From the cause of the law, having been a cause for us, for it is written, cost is everyone who hangs on a tree to bring us to liberty. Verse 14. That's the blessing. Why? Kaburata. Where causes used to exist, blessing can swallow it up. You will not see a tree. Have you ever seen someone, you see them and like, they don't look like their past. I'm just letting you know that there's also a place for the blessing of God. For it is the blessing of God that blesses. It makes one rich. And it has no sorrow to it. I pray for somebody today. You will have an encounter with the blessing of the Lord. Yeah. Oh, somebody did not hear that. I said you will have an encounter with the blessing of the Lord. Yeah. Do you know there are people that walk more than the end. They walk like elephant, but they eat like ants. It's also a cause. They wake up very early. Come back home at night. Ask them. How far today? They have nothing to show for it. Oh, Kaloza, trendy, go, zo, zo, zo. I cause the root of labor without fruit in your life in the name of Jesus. It causes a circle of negativity, adversity, calamity. It's a force of empowerment unto failure and reproach. It causes a sentence to pain. It dressing in disfavor. You see people, no matter how much they work, they, don't, they are not favored. Disappointment here or there, near success syndrome. I've seen people who say, Pastor, they don't give me things. Why? Oh, I bless God that they give me things. It's a blessing. Some people say, I don't want anybody to give me anything. No. Ah. So the only thing you want to eat in life is the one you can work for. Never. I'm a blessed man. And that will say, sure, God will talk to men to give to me. Even if not that they are dashing me, there must be an idea that will make them gift. Oh, anybody there? Someone says, I'm a money collector. Money collector. <laughs> Ideas will come that will bring money my way. People will leave their house very early in the morning and bring me money. The reason some people are living in perpetual poverty is not because they are not intelligent or because they don't work hard or because they are not smart, but because their labor is not oiled with favor. Have you seen an engine that doesn't have oil before? It doesn't mean the engine cannot work, but it also knock. There are knock life. Because they don't enjoy favor. But after this service, ah, it will be as if there's something that came upon you. Everywhere you enter, door shall be opened unto you. Before you knock any door, they will be opening them unto you. If you believe in raw amen like thunder. What are the causes of course? Why are people struggling? You know where I'm sharing? I would say we are not ignorant of satanic devices. Let's take advantage of us. And Bible said, be sober, be vigilant. Not that be, be smart. Resist the devil. Because if you don't resist him, what will happen? He will stay there. The first reason we see cause in the Bible is personal iniquity or wickedness. Such that came upon Cain. You know people are wicked. Habitation of the heart is full of cruelty. Habitation of the heart is full of cruelty. So men, to leave family is so easy for them. I'm not attached to anything. No, I can move. Genesis 35, 22. The problem is that the day you do the wickedness is not the day they call. You won't even know anything is happening. It happened when Israel dwelt in the land. 
Liu Ben went and slept with his father's wife. Omala Gidi. What did my father want to do with that kind of young girl? Only God knew what he was thinking. I would say, Israel heard about it. And he kept quiet. Baba didn't say anything. Baba wants to die. And I said, hey, all of you, come Genesis 49. I want to bless you. And he looked at the first one. He said, Real Ben. Eh, I remember what you did to me. You caused me pain. I didn't talk. Oh. But as I said, look you now. You know go is there. That you know that. Ah, I know this. I'm just telling you that you are unstable. You will serve your mates. In First Chronicles 5 1. Come and hear about Reuben. Yeah. Now the sons of Reuben. Watch everybody. Oh. Now the sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel. He was indeed the firstborn. Watch. Oh. But because he defiles his father's bed, his birthright was given to another person, the sons of Israel. So that the genealogy is not listed. According to, he lost it forever. Even though Moses turned some things around over, oh God, it not be the same again. He's gone. Be careful of what you are doing that is inviting cause into your life. Don't insult your parents, even if you don't agree with them. Some of us, you come from some uh, culture where they talk to people anyhow. You can just look at your father and say, Mommy, stop it. You are inviting a cause. First Chronicles will be like 500 years after. The cause was proclaimed. They are still referring to it 500 years after. I don't have time to show you more. It quite, quite many. Personal iniquity. How about Ekan? Ekan stole. God kept quiet. He gave them victory in the battle. The next one, God exposed them. They said, ah, it must be because of what we have done. God said, go and bring the person that did it. But guess what? It was not only Ekan that was punished. His entire household. Okay. Be careful. Some of you, you set people up in your place of work. I hate the gay. They will, they will chase the gay from this place. You are inviting a cause. Somebody, a young girl came beside you. God has blessed you in that business. One so young girl came. Yeah, they want to come and collect my customer. I will bury something in that place so that he will not be able to sell anything. <laughs> Continue. He's waiting for you in the future. Your children will reap from it. False witness. It makes somebody go to jail. You are drinking beer. You went to rob somebody's house, cost them pain. The money, you had to go and use it to pay hospital B for your wife. Those who cause people pain cannot have joy. It's not a cause. Husband and wife, be careful how you deal with each other. Because you, if your wife is crying, ah, crying, and due cause, you are punishing the woman for nothing. And she's crying to God. I won't say the next one. Have you seen arrogant people think I can do what I want? Nobody can tell me what to do. I will frustrate that girl in this place. Frustrate her. But life will also frustrate you because you are inviting a cause without anybody have to say, you know, go better for you. Genesis 38, 6 to 9. You will see this one. Be careful. <laughs> Judah took a wife for Er, his firstborn. And her name was what? Tamar. Verse 8. But Er, Judah's firstborn, was wicked in the sight of the Lord. What did God do to him? God killed him. <laughs> verse, next verse. And Judah said to Onan, go into your brother's wife because it's her custom. And raise an heir also for your brother. But Honor knew that he begins bad for her. They are just saying hey, he's my brother. He's gonna be my brother's owner. So guess what he did? When he went into his brother's wife, that he emitted on the ground. You understand it, right? <laughs> so I don't have to explain that one. Lest he should give back to an heir to his brother. Look at verse 10. And the thing which he did displeased the Lord. Therefore, God also what? God a kilo. I just want to show you. More we'll goodness one. <laughs> but overcoming causes. New bad. Romans 8.1. There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. There are, I have many causes of course. Parental things. There are things parents did that is eating up their, the future of their children. The father had sour grape. The children's teeth are set on the edge. It's real. Idolatry. Occultic practices. Enchantments and divinations. But if a man is in Christ, is a what? All things are what? All things are now what? New. Somebody say all things are new for me. Are new. Say it louder. Say all things are new for me. me. There is therefore now no condemnation. Mm -mm. Not what your father did. Not what you have done. Ah. 
Now, look. So don't even say, ah, because I joined court when I was in the university, there is therefore now. I like it when you say now. The moment you choose not to walk according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. For the law of the spirit of life has set us free from the law of what? Sin and death. So, and because it comes as a result of the law of sin and death. And if that law is dealt with, you have a free life. So if you have not born again, you will operate under a curse. But if you are born again, you are a new creation. And you are new. All things are passed away. All things are not new. Then you must stay away from unclean things. Numbers 23, 23. Stay away. Numbers 23, 23. Just stay away from unclean things. For there is no sorcery against Jacob. Nor divination against Israel. Now, it now must be said of Jacob and of Israel. Oh, what God has done. Because I can't attack them. There's no sorcery against them. I didn't see iniquity in Jacob. For the shout of the king is in the atmosphere. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. What takes away cause honor? There was a cause of barrenness in the life of Abraham. But it was honor that broke it. Honor. Honoring God. Honoring God. Honoring his servant. Honoring your parents. It takes away cause. You can't give to God and operate under a cause. In the right atmosphere. It was food that Abraham gave to God that terminated barrenness in his life. You know, some people can't give God their urine. Waste product. Say this one, you don't need to get. Give me back my urine. What do you want they can do? When it's time to give to God, that's when they analyze. Oh, we didn't even know what they used the last one to do. And this one, without honor, can't enjoy blessing. Every cause of limitation in my destiny has to give way. I must see like God wants me to see. Rest on your feet. Can we just pray two prayer points? Will you be serious to pray it? Huh? Are you ready to pray? Hmm. Let me look for a serious neighbor. And if you are seated beside one, that's good. Just hold the hand of that person. Oh, da 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 da. Are you ready to pray? Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. As I begin to pray, in the next three minutes, I receive the spirit of supplication. I receive answer to my prayers. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. In Jesus' name. Say generational cause. Limiting my advancement. In whatever ways, I am no longer your candidate. I am redeemed by the blood of Jesus. Let us your voice and turn it to power. Bible said they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of your testimony. So you continue to pray. He's anointed. He's empowering you to succeed. Breaking every cross. The name of the Lord is calling me. Somebody pray. Pray. Just like heaven 
Jesus' mighty name we are praying. It's a negative patterns. Brothers in the house, I want you to pray well, especially when you are young. Ah, my daddy didn't. I am not. I'm not in that line. Say negative patterns. Father struggled, children struggling, shouting against say negative patterns. I am not your candidate. Say by the authority in the name of Jesus, I declare my liberty. Raise your voice and turn it apart. Patterns of childlessness. Miracles and wonders, deliverance so is taking place. Heaven on earth, there is lightning and thunder. Miracles and wonders, Sepakata. sounds of many words. Let's have a better life. Heaven on earth, there hey. is lightning and hey. hey, Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. I sense a strong anointing in this room. I prophesy now from the front of the bank. Everyone under the yoke of any cause, let like that cause be broken in the name of Jesus. From the front to the back, I release a fresh anointing. After the count of seven, whatever has kept you stuck, let them be broken. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Se palabarabaya, sapradia la kanta la babarabaya. La toma na prakaya. Now, I decree and I declare, every every young man, put your right hand up, above your head. Every male factor especially, whatever wants to take your headship. A CEO lifts up your hand. Whatever wants to take your dominion. Whatever wants to render you a beggar. Are you ready? I release her. The anointing for wealth uh, after the count of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Take it. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Prakaya, mama. Whatever kill your father can no longer kill you. Whatever stop you can no longer stop you. I release the anointing for wealth. I break the yoke of poverty. Whatever I want to steal your airship, I rebuke them. Son of a day. He did it. 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 Somebody, you are feeling hot in your body, like a cold electric shock in your body. Yes, Somebody's as if they put a crown on you. Here come the baraya, supernatural strength. La baraya, 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 from the front of the back, let Karabaya the move of the Holy Ghost. The move of the Holy Ghost. The move of the Holy Ghost. Let change the broken. 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 Let change the bro
Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 Jesus, mighty day we are praying. Now all the campuses get ready for this. I pray for you. Kill a trust Every cause of not enough. No matter how much they labor, they never have enough. I prophesy on this altar. After the count of three, I break the cause by the anointing. See, there are men who are put in power to break causes. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me because he has anointed me Calabar, to preach liberty to the captives. I am here as one with the anointing of the Lord to set free. I then preach cause to let you see that you are cause. I preach it to let you see the sign of the blessing of the Lord. I stand here as a prophet of God. I decree and I declare. Are you ready for this? Sir? After the count of three, I break the cause of not in your life powers that want to bring you down your whole age powers that want you to labor so that you will not have anything to show for it so that you will use the money to sort that police case you will use the money to build a child from prison no i stand as a prophet of god after the count of three i nullify that cause one two three Receive it! Parakataya barara! The Lord asked me to prophesy speed. Every area of delay, every area of struggle, every area where you have not enjoyed the best shot. Are you ready to receive this? Some of you, you will feel literally anointing on your legs. Some of you, you will feel it in your hand. Kaya, Latuna, Yepremdiba, Hidabarakaturanabaya, Alakada Marade, Hidakaradada San Madade, Alakapa Kalata, Alakada Badidi Kalata. From the front of the back and all our churches where you are watching on the YouTube on the radio, I prophesy now anointing for speed rest on you. Anointing for speed rest on you. After the count of seven, they say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, Let it move. Spirit of the Lord, move. Anoint men with speed. Break yokes of delay. It's a new day. Lift your hand wherever you are. I come as one of the carpenters to terrify that on called causes invisible forces that makes a man to fail by the authority in the name of Jesus I don't know whether your daddy was there I don't know whether you are there but now I stand for whatever is born of God overcomes the world and this is the victory that overcomes the world our faith are you ready to receive some of them I decree now, be free. I say, be free. I see chain broken from somebody's leg here. I see chain broken from somebody's leg here. That demonic dream every night, stealing the future from you. I decree an end to them now. Spirit husband, in me the spirits Calabaya, that has sentenced you uh, to life of servitude. Uh, let them die. Let them die. Let them die. Be free the name of Jesus. If you believe the royal man like thunder, somebody. What is the essence of being smart without results? I stand here and I decree and declare every power that says you should labor for others. Let such power die in the name of Jesus. I prophesy your liberation this morning. 
I prophesy your dominion this morning. So listen to me. Anyone who looks at you from today and does not look at you well, let them go blind. Let them go blind. Brothers in the house, put your right hand on your, on your head. After the count of seven, I release anointing to go ahead of those who has gone ahead of you and look back and make a mockery of you. After the count of seven, wherever you are, as a male factor, if you're not a man, don't put your head here, your hand there. I'm coming for you. Kela, just stop and neighbor. You are not a man for nothing. I decree and declare in the next seven days, sir, the anointed that make a difference in a man's life. Let it rise on you. It's over, Kale, Atarababa. He take it, take it, and lead her. Shaba, Ali. He break it, look at it. Anywhere you under the sound of my voice, receive the anoint. Receive the grace. If you believe it, shout him like thunder. Sisters, put one hand on your tummy and the other on your head. You belong to Jesus, not to demon. Any devil. Claiming ownership in your life or you, I decree and declare, I cast them out now in the name of Jesus. From today, I decree and declare, now that Tommy you lay hand on, we give back to male and female. I cause the root of barrenness in your life in the name of Jesus. You are not it that we put it to marry in the name of Jesus. If you believe it, raise your voice and shout and loud it. There are families, everybody's in an entity. This one is, is, is alcoholic. This one, we don't even know where he belongs. I stand here, everyone, the enemy has put in bondage under the sound of my voice. Maybe it's not even you, but your brother or somebody connected to you. I declare your liberation in the name of Jesus. If you're a business person here, listen to me from today. What you do that gives you one, we give you 10. What you do that gives you one, we give you ten. What gives you ten, we give you hundred. What give you hundred, we give you thousand. What give you thousand, we give you millions. What give you million, we give you billions. If I'm talking about your shout a lot, amen. Somebody say, Pastor, when will you stop? I won't stop. Because a governor must carry basket here as an usher. I won't stop because a president must enter here and sit down as a media person. I am not talking to the rich, I'm talking to you. Whoever they have said not to go can come out of La Coma here. I come as one with a prophetic voice. I decree and declare it's time for your headship. It's time for your headship. It's time for your dominion. In the name of Jesus, if you believe in Royal like thunder. Now put your hand on your chest. Every sickness, let them go away. Every sickness that comes as a result of course, let them go away now. I declare be healed in the name of Jesus. Lift up your hand and give thanks to God. 